So now we're going to build the Let's Build the Wind Power Plant and components and mounting. So first you're going to need your blade pieces that you can cut out of the die cut sheet. You're going to want some long rods and you're going to want some button pins and you might also want some tape so that you can tape the blades together. So first let's get the blades out of the sheets. It looks like there might only be one blade, but there's actually three here that are stuck together. So let's try to unstick them. There's one, two, and three. And then right here, there are also going to be three for a total of six. So now, looking at the image, image number one, you can lay down a long rod right here and you're going to want to cut these little squares out and you want to make sure that the side with the hole that's a little far from the end is on top versus the side with the hole that's closer to the end. So you want this side facing up and you're going to fold the blade over so that the hole, this first hole, matches up with the hole in the long rod, then you're going to put in a button pin on one side, then put in a button pin on the other side, and press them in. You'll leave two holes empty, and then do the same thing in the, it'll be the fourth hole from the end, and then put a pin on the other side. And once these are in, you can push these arrows into the slits right here. You may have to get the slits open first in order to be able to push the arrows in. And you can fold them down. And then to make sure they stay there, you can add a little tape. You also have this last arrow that you can stick in right here. And you can tape this down as well. Okay, so you can do another one in the same way. First taking the squares out. Okay, and once you have two blades, you can get the rotor and you can stick them onto the rotor. So one on your right side, like this, and then the other one, make sure that the wing is kind of like the tape side is up here and the tape side is down here. And so this is what it looks like. And a rotor can have two, three, or six blades on it. So you want to make six blades so that you can use them. And now we're going to do components and mounting. We're going to do the universal adapter and the part separator tool. So for the universal adapter, we're going to need the other side of the rotor, the back side, and we're going to stick it on the back side here, and then we'll stick the two screws in the holes, and you're going to need a screwdriver so that you can screw them in. And now, we're going to look at the part separator tool, just so you can learn how to use it, which looks like this. And you can use it to take out button pins, you can use it to take out anchor pins, so it's really useful. So to take out one of the button pins, you're going to use the B side. So notice the letter B, and you can go like this and get it out. And to take out an anchor pin, let's stick one in here, you're going to use the A side. So you want to see the letter A right there and then you can stick this in and take it out.